friend Roy Olson, coming to you from the backyard of my brother's home in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. A beautiful place, a beautiful state, beautiful sunlight and sand and ocean and sights. We are very richly blessed and we are very grateful. I want to talk to you today a little bit about um, Romania, our call, and what we are doing about that call. <clears throat> 2014 is about to close, and 2015 is about to begin. In retrospect, I look back on 2014 with uh, great appreciation, great joy, and great uh, gratitude. However, I realize that compared to the need that there is in the world, the amount of people, close to 7 billion people on planet Earth, and well over 400 million people in Europe, the continent of Europe, have we made a dent? Have we made an impact? And I believe that we have made somewhat of an impact, somewhat of a difference. But compared to the need, I, I have the sense is less than a drop in the bucket. The need is great. The, the doors are wide open. And I ask myself, what inhibits us? What prevents us from, uh, in a spirit-filled, spirit-directed way, reach the precious people of the continent of Europe. Well, we are located in Romania, but we are located strategically in Romania, not too far from the borders of either Serbia and Bulgaria on the south, or uh, Hungary on the uh, northwest, and the northeast we have the Ukraine. And beyond that, through those countries to the whole expanse of Europe, we are located in a strategic place. And I believe God gave me, us, the, the vision, the understanding that we are there as a launching pad, as a beachfront, as a landing ground. We are there simply to provide a place of launching throughout Romania and beyond into the nations of Europe. And uh, so my, my, uh, my question is, what prevents us from being more effective in the entire nation of Romania and beyond? And I have to admit that sometimes it's our lack of faith, our small faith, as opposed to great faith. Perhaps we deal with fear or insecurities or inhibitions. And sometimes it's a lack of uh, manpower, a lack of others joining with us to reach a beyond and Yes, sometimes it's a uh, lack of prayer, intercessory prayer, powerful prayer, and of course, uh, funding, finances. Uh, just one trip by car to the Czech Republic, when you consider the price of gas is over $7 a gallon, the... Uh, cost just for a trip there and back can run well over $300 when you consider the road taxes and the food back and forth. You think of the prayer, the, the kind of prayer, Lord bless all the missionaries. I'm sure God hears that. But there's a vast difference between that 
an intercessory prayer, laying hold, as the expression goes, on the horns of the altar, praying and praying through, uh, pleading with God, interceding with God, as Abraham did for Sodom and Gomorrah, and Moses did for his people, and the Apostle Paul did, without ceasing, praying night and day for you. It takes a, an act of the Holy Spirit to enable us to pray in such a way, with such intensity, and yet the principle stands, the, the effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man is powerful and effective or availeth much. Prayer. I think of the many retired people in the United States praying, Lord, send me, or Lord, use me. And here we have the facilities just to accommodate precious retired people like that. Come and uh, spend a few weeks with us. Taste and see. And perhaps uh, a senior couple would be a perfect fit. Why sip tea in a hammock in a backyard or on a beach when you can be involved in the greatest harvest of this century? And hopefully that will take place in Romania. So the needs are great. We are grateful for what God has done, but are keenly aware that the fields are yet white unto harvest. And the problem is not that people will not respond. They do. They will. How can they not? The issue is the workers are few. The laborers are few. And so, dear friends, as you listen to this, somewhat impassioned plea by your humble servant. I have turned 73 years of age. And as I say, I'm aiming for Moses' 120 years. So that gives me only 47 years left, and they will go quickly. Join me. If you cannot come, pray. And along with your praying, Give, give generously, because we have no great financial assets upon which to rely except the generosity of God's people. We have a laying before us a, a great opportunity. We have purchased a piece of property that we call uh, the Land of Promise. In Romanian, it is Sara Promisa. We are developing that land which we purchased in 2014. And in 2015, there's a large building on that property that needs to be renovated completely. And uh, we need perhaps $25,000 in order to complete that project in a nice and elegant way. With a uh, uh, conference room, dormitories, uh, kitchen facilities, um, plumbing, bathroom facilities, all of the above. And uh, we appeal to you. Give. And give generously. And uh, we will be grateful, but I'm sure the Lord of the harvest will see your sacrifice. And he will even be more grateful. Say, well done, thou good and faithful servant. Thank you for listening. My name is Roy Olson, and I'm representing Apavia Ministries in the nation of Romania. And saying, God bless you. Thank you. Goodbye for now.